welcome to Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery channel. My name is Janine and I am your Thursday vlogger. And this week we have a really interesting topic that a lot of us struggle with, so I'm kind of excited to talk about this um, because it's just not spoken about enough in my opinion. Question is, rapid weight loss, body dysmorphic disorder. Has your brain literally caught up to the physical transformation you see in the mirror? Or do you not see yourself back in the mirror, but the old heavy person? Explain. I have severe body dysmorphia. Severe. Perfect example of how severe it is. When I went to the Atlantic City meet and greet, a slew of people that I had never met in person before all told me how tiny I was and that they never expected me to be this tiny because of the way I speak about myself. So I obviously talk about myself and see myself much bigger than I actually am. And it was to the point where I surprised people. Um, nobody thought I was this small and uh, I swear to you, when I look in the mirror, I don't see 400 pounds anymore, but I would say I see like 250 pounds and I'm only 175. So, yeah. It's not easy at all. Shopping for clothes is hard because I literally get anxiety when I pull a medium shirt off the rack. I, I feel anxiety in my belly because I, of course, want to avoid bringing clothes into a dressing room, trying them on and having them not fit and feeling disappointed and fat in the dressing room. So when I pull a medium off the rack, I get anxiety immediately and I try on everything now because I am so scared and so convinced that a medium won't fit me. My pants are a size 12. Same anxiety. I pull a 12 off the rack. I got to try on every single thing that's a size 12, even though logically I know it's going to fit me, but I am so anxious and scared that I'm going to try to get my butt into those size 12 pants or skirt or dress or whatever it is, and it is not going to fit, I'm going to feel disappointment, and I'm going to feel fat. Really freaking fat. Does it happen? Hasn't happened yet. Every time I pull a size 12 off the rack, it fits me. Every time I pull a medium off the rack, it fits me. I don't know how to handle this. And I do talk to my therapist about this pretty often. And she pretty much told me to try to relax about it, that my brain will catch up eventually. But it's been a long time now and my brain still hasn't caught up. I'm still struggling every single day. I put on things that I bought in a store and I stand in front of the mirror to make sure I look presentable before I go to work in the morning. And all I see is the fat girl I used to be. I don't see a size 12. I went to a Mets game uh, a week ago and I met up with a vendor rep. Uh, her name is Hope. And Hope and I, I knew Hope when I was 400 pounds. So I got to see her at the Mets game and of course she's, you know, giving me hugs and kisses and you know, oh my god, you're so small, you look so beautiful, you know, all the all this beautiful stuff she was saying to me. It was so sweet. And so we're talking and she asked me what size I am. And I told her a twelve. She is a fourteen. 
Not in a thousand years would I have guessed that she is bigger than me. So that's how bad it is. Um, it's really freaking hard to see myself at the size that I am. It's really freaking hard. So it's just something I'm struggling with. I'm going to hope my brain catches up. Um, and it's a topic that we just don't talk about enough. And I think it affects people a lot more than we discuss. I know it affects me a lot. Every single day. Millions of times a day. It's really rough. So does it affect you? Do you have body dysmorphia disorder? You know? And are you affected? Do you see yourself as still fat even though you're not? Let me know. Leave comments below or leave a video response. I love you. I will talk to you next week, next Thursday, on Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery Channel. Thanks. Bye.